Hey, welcome. I'm Susanna Kay here with some more rocket book tips. Today I'm talking about my top five favorite hacks for my rocket book. Now you've probably seen from my videos that I've had this rocket book for over three years and it's taken a beating. But also I have learned to hack a few things and make this work even better than ever for me. So let's go. Number five. For number five, I love to use little post-it flags and tabs in order to find the various pages that I need to get back to within my rocket book, especially because I use this as my daily planner a lot of times and I have ongoing projects that I keep track of. So I've talked about this more in depth in some of my other videos, but I love to use just these reusable flags like post-it flags, anything that's kind of a removable flag or my latest favorite is I grab one of those magnetic bookmarks. You can get them in an office supply store or Amazon or something. And I actually taped a little tab to it. This is a little narwhal because I think it's cute. But this way I can use the magnetic bookmark on a page to get back to that page. And I don't have to worry about possibly leaving any residue like I've talked about in some of my other videos. So using a magnetic bookmark or some flags can help you get to the right spot. Hack number four, and we're getting closer and closer to my favorite one, which is number one. But hack number four is I love to use very broad categories in my cloud storage for various ideas and notes. And then I use the hashtag feature within the Rocketbook scanning app in order to find the right notes or ideas or whatever it is in the cloud really easily. So basically, each of the icons on the Rocketbook I have attached to usually my Google Drive, but wherever you store your cloud storage, I have large folders like ideas or notes or even to file. And then I use the hashtags. If you put two hashtags on either side of the top line, then it will turn that the Rocketbook app when you scan it will turn that into the file name. So I just pack it with all the keywords that I could possibly use to search for that idea. So for example, it might be organizing trick, shoe pockets, cleaning hair, other with the hashtags around it. And that way, if I search for shoe pockets or organizing trick or cleaning, organizing, whatever I search for that has those keywords, it's going to come up in those broad categories. So I don't worry about filing so much because I use the keywords to search. All right. Hack number three. This is an easy one for me that I've been doing for years and years, and it's simply keeping a pretty moistened sponge in a resealable bag, like a Ziploc bag. And I usually carry along with it, like an old paper towel and the cloth that came with my rocket book. This way, if I'm going on an airplane or if I'm just sitting at my desk in the drawer, I have a, what is it, a sponge already there. So when I'm ready to erase a page, I have my supplies already moistened. I don't have to make a big production of it. The other thing that I do as far as erasing, when I'm finished with a page, I just put a big X through it. So that way I know that either it's already been scanned or I'm not interested in scanning it. So I'll have a day where I go through and I just erase everything with an X all at once instead of having to erase things right away or reading through to see if I can erase it. But having that sponge already there makes it nice and easy to then wipe everything off, dry it down and start reusing it again. So there you go, even on an airplane, that one's super handy. Now, hack number two. Hack number two, I recently did, I tested this out a while ago, but I've recently started to really use this more and more often, and that's using a Sharpie on my rocket book. So I did this on my mini, and as you can see, I wrote the, all the black is in Sharpie, all the pink was with a friction pen that you use on your rocket book. But when you erase the page, only the friction pen comes off and the Sharpie stays and it does not bleed through to the other side. So the other side is still usable, but this is a great way to make your own templates, especially if you wanted to create a planner or for me, this is kind of my top things that I need to do in the day. And I actually clip this one right on to a little frame that sits on my desk so I can see what my top things are for the day. And I just love using the Sharpie so that I can erase it and then use it again and again and again and again as that template. And that leads me to my number one favorite hack. This is one that I finally got the guts to do recently, which is you can cut your rocket book pages out of your notebook. This came from the mini notebook. 
and I had a couple of templates in there, but it's just one of those mini flip notebooks. So I just cut this right out of the notebook. Just make sure if you do want to still be able to scan the page, don't cut all the black off. Make sure that you keep the black border. But this is super handy because now, instead of having the notebook sit on my desk or sit where I have that page open, I could put it right on the frame. But also, I have recently cut from my orbit. I've not cut from my core ever last one because I've had that for too long. I, I don't think I can cut that one up. But from the orbit, I cut out the agenda page and then I just did the whole punch for the disc planners and I just put that right in there. Or I have also at times three hole punched one so it can go right into a notebook. And then this way I'm not stuck with just using the rocket book notebook, but I have an easy page that I can erase, I can scan, I can use it over and over. This one's, I usually do this with the agenda pages because I really only need one agenda page if I'm erasing it each time. Now I will say, if you are going to cut out the pages, there are a few things to keep in mind. I already mentioned don't cut off the black surrounding part. You also, if you do want to scan the page, make sure that you don't hole punch over your QR code or through any of your icons at the bottom. But if it's three hole punched or punched already with a disc planner type of punch, when it's in a notebook, it's not easy to scan still in the notebook. So I take it out of the notebook and lay it on my desk is black. I lay it on my black desk surface to scan it if I do want to scan it. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to scan, but it's still absolutely worth it, especially if you're not even planning to scan it and you just erase and use it again and again. So those are my five favorite hacks and I've got some other hacks planned. So keep an eye on the channel because I will share some new hacks that I've got coming up for the new Orbit that just uh, shipped from Kickstarter. So that's a brand new one and a couple of other hacks that I've got going on in the background. I'm glad that you stayed with me throughout this video. If you want to see more videos, check out the other ones on my channel. You can also check me out on my website at SusannaK.com for organizing tips, productivity, um, paper organizing. I, I teach all of that and my Facebook group is linked there too. And also subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you see all of the new rocket book and productivity and organizing videos that come up as they go. Thank you so much for joining me. I will talk to you very soon and I love you.